Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a magnitude 4.5 earthquake off of Bandon, Oregon. Eight people reported feeling this earthquake. Uh, we got Coons Bay and also down here near Brookings, Oregon. Here we have, uh, using Google Earth, the location of that earthquake. And it's along this fault line. You can see it here going all the way down to Cape Blanco and this is near where that one report came came in from this area is part of the Juan de Fuca fault line which is moving um, in a north uh, kind of an easterly direction this fault zone here is the Blanco fracture zone the Juan de Fuca plate is dipping under the North American plate the uh, 620 mile fault line hasn't had a major eruption since the 1700s. The northern section of the Cascadia Fault and the southern section of the Cascadia Fault are locked and building up pressure. There was also a magnitude 3.1 earthquake uh, 65 kilometers offshore north northwest of Petrolia, California. No one reported feeling that earthquake. That earthquake was along the Mendocino Triple Junction. Yeah, another area that's of concern because it goes into the San Andreas Fault Zone. These two lock zones along the Cascadia Fault Zone, they're up by Portland and down here by uh, Cape, Cape Blanco and Eugene, etc., is very concerning. Yeah, I wonder how many people are actually prepared for a coming earthquake. You know, when I did my earthquake report about Guam, uh, back in the 1800s, they had uh, large earthquakes and tsunamis, and that was during the same period as the Spanish flu. Yeah, it makes me wonder if we're going to have a repeat of what happened back then with the Cascadia Fault Zone. So, what are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support. I really appreciate it. I'm on Patreon. I'm also on um, BitChute. And my videos are free there to watch. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless y'all. Bye.